Hey, what is up guys? I am back. I know I've been gone for a little bit, but I am now going to start posting hopefully at least one video every week. And um, keep on trying to give you guys decent and basic tutorials. Now today's tutorial will be working on light shading effects and uh, changing graphics. So what I have here is I have a ball and I have several uh, blue squares. And I'll show you when I run this. Now, when I press the flag, you see everything goes black. Except for our little ball here, which we can move around. And, oh, what's this? Yeah, these, I recently made this, and it's for lighting graphics. So if you just want to add a little bit of zest to a game, make it more comfortable, or if you're making a, a uh, horror game a lot more spookier, you definitely want to add this. Now it's very simple and very easy to make, and I'll take you guys straight to that. Okay, so I open up a new Scratch window, and first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete the uh, cat, the cat scry uh, sprite, and then we're going to make a new one. Now, really all you want to do is just make a ball. And if you want them to look kind of fancy like I did where I made the try to look like a light bulb, or present a light bulb in some way, then just click the two light colors and you want to get the fade out option where your lightest is in the center if not you just swap the colors and there we go so it's like that and I'll just go ahead and name this light you can name it whatever you want and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to create I'm gonna use green this time create a box or a square and I'm not really gonna give this a name okay now we're gonna go to our sprite one for the green box that we just made we're gonna make a variable is going to be for this sprite only and we're just gonna call it light then what we're gonna do is we're going to go with control you want to pick when the flag is clicked scroll down a little bit we're going to get a forever loop we're just going to put that to the side because we're going to come back to it later now we're going to go to the looks and we're going to get let's see here clear graphic effects you're going to see why we're going to need this in a little bit because what it's going to do is it's going to change when the program will start up again, it will change everything back to normal. Okay, and then we're going to plug in our forever loop right there. And then we're going to go to variables. Set light to. We're going to need this, and then we're going to go to sensing. We're going to go, and we're going to get distance to. Now it's going to be distance to light which is our sprite that we just made. Try not to get it confused with the variable light. They're two different things. So the distance to light is going to be set like that. Then we're going to go back to the looks. And we're going to get set. Scroll down to brightness. So set brightness effect to go to operators and we're going to need times going to get it and it's going to be times light the variable itself actually light will be first and it'll be times negative negative 0.5 plug that in there then we're going to go to our stage real quick And we're going to go to when the flag is clicked, go to looks, and we're going to set the brightness effect for the stage to be, I'm sorry, to be one negative 100. Now I believe we have everything set up. 
And if you want, I suggest you guys go ahead and duplicate the sprite. And then spread it out throughout our whiteboard. Or across the stage. And then when we run this, everything turned black. And if we... Oops, I almost forgot. We need to... Let's end this. We need to make it to where our light can move around. Now, in the one that I made, I made it to where you could use the arrow keys. But to make this one easier, I think we'll just make it to where it sticks in a mouse. So we're going to get one flag is clicked, forever, motion. This is really simple. Go to mouse pointer. Press the button. Now it will follow the mouse pointer. As you can see, it does great. And it's really nice, fast, and simple. I don't believe it's going to slow down your computer at all if you do add this to a really big game. But yeah, it's it's a really nice, simple thing that you can do just to add to a game to give it a nice, great feel. And, you know, lots of really easy to make. Hope this tutorial helped you guys. Thanks for all the recent subscribers that have joined. I know I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, just need a little free time. But once it's all the subscribers that joined, you know, it's, it's crazy. Well, so thank you guys very much. Leave a comment if you want to. Um, people who haven't subscribed, I suggest you do. I'll be making a lot more content. And uh, have a nice day.